Today on the channel, like a young Saxon, we got a 747 coming in through the night with the one-man gang, Zombie Sailor, Heels and Faces. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! the channel for another zombie sailor toys heels and faces unboxing and review and today on the channel we got the one man gang but for all your one man gang needs make sure you're going to zombie sailor but for all your other wrestling figure needs make sure you hit up ringside collectibles use discount code kyle save yourself 10 percent gotta get a deal out there and the one man gang the latest and greatest from the zombie sailor Retro wrestling figure toy line, a part of Series 3, and the best part of this one-man gang is that he shipped immediately. There was no long, drawn-out pre-order, anything like that. It was, hey, this is going up for sale. Here's four days later, I got it in my mailbox. That is pretty cool, and that is something that will continue to set Heels and Faces line ahead of the competition, is that short wait time is what the consumer is wanting. People are over those long waits, and that's what Zombie Sailor is getting to us right here with the One Man Gang. And I'm very excited for the One Man Gang. Is old George Gray, he played One Man Gang. He played Akeem. One of the best big men of all time and severely underrated. Should definitely be a WWE Hall of Famer in either of his gimmicks. I always loved the One Man Gang and I enjoyed Akeem as well. Akeem and Boss Man, a very underrated team. Really felt like they were a threat to Hulk Hogan and the Macho Man when I was a little kid. And uh, Akeem was a big, big dude, not just in size, but also in stature. Just an all-time great big man out there. And then his time in One Man Gang before that, and then after Akeem in WCW, of course ECW. A guy that wasn't scared of some blood and guts as well. Just one of the biggest underrated wrestlers of all time, and definitely one of the most underrated big men of all time from where I sit. And of course, you guys know I sit right here at this very table. But of course, we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. And like I said, this is part of Zombie Sailor Series 3. Look at that new blue card back. Love that blue carding on this one. Of course, the big logo up there. Got the old Ron Rudak call out in the corner. And then you got One Man Gang's autograph down here. You got One Man Gang figure as well. Big old glamour shot that looks really, really good. And then on the back, you got Zombie Sailor heels and faces. You got the little file card down below. UPC, some jibber jabber. You got the Ron Rudat original drawing. You got the cross sell. A lot going on on the packaging, there's no doubt about it. Nick Gage, Bruiser Brody, Raven, Kevin Sullivan, King Kong Bundy. Two versions of Andre the Giant. We unboxed all those on the channel. Uh, Bastion Booger we unboxed as well. And then you got the rest of Series 3 with Hercules, Hernandez, Paul Roma, Slick, Jack Tunney, and then, of course, the Cardona Nick Gage 2-pack coming as well. I had never really thought about it until this very moment, but Series 3, very um, Slick heavy. As obviously, you got Slick. That's going to be an all-timer, of course. But we got Paul Roma, and we got Hercules Hernandez, of course, Power and Glory, that were managed by Slick. You got One Man Gang that was managed by Slick. And then you got Jack Tunney that's just kind of watching everything, I guess. So an interesting set, no doubt about it. But it does say the One Man Gang, height 6'6", six six, weight 450 pounds, from Chicago, Illinois. Beautiful this time of year. A little cold, of course. Head over to Pequod's Pizza, get yourself a pizza. Oh my gosh, it's everything you could want out of Chicago. And it does say, as the name implies, One Man Gang is so big, so bad, he's his own gang. He's a one man gang. He's managed by the Doctor of Style Slick. And of course, Gary Hart. When I think of the One Man Gang, I usually think of Gary Hart. I think that was the prominence of the gang in a lot of ways. Uh, he was also reportedly last seen in deepest, darkest Africa, sporting a dashiki. A bold fashion move, as we do know, but it did pay off for him. We do get one Zombie Sailor point right here, and then you got the uh, Ron Rudat drawing, of course, as we do know. But looking good, official product here. I hate to take it off the card. I'd love to be a Double Up Club member of this set. Just not in the cards for me. I'm just doing a one and done, and I'm going to open up the old gang. We're going to have a one-man gang right here. And I'm trying to think back. One-man gang, his last figure, would have had to have been Jack's Classic Superstars back in the day. Beautiful card. See you later. Goodbye. 
Jack's Classic Superstars, you guys know I'm such a big fan of that toy line. I wrote a book about it. Book coming very, very soon. Stay tuned to the channel, subscribe, all that kind of fun stuff, and learn more about the old Jack's Classic Superstars line. But that was the last one-man gang figure we did receive. We also received one, of course, in the LJN days. We'll do some comparison shots later on the video of those, of course, as well. But we got the one-man gang out of the package. First thing I realized here and first thing I noticed that was missing from the Jack's Class Superstars version is the denim vest over the top. That was such a big thing for the one-man gang, of course. And like I mentioned at the top, you got the old 747. Like a young Saxon, 747 coming in through the night, looking good. One-man gang, the big skull on the back. Beautiful denim. It's not actually denim, I don't think. Maybe it is. I don't know, but it looks close enough for an action figure. It does work for me. Love the looks of that one there. He does got the big singlet underneath and the shirt, the black knee pads, the black pants, all the black going on. It does say gang on the side of his pants as well. Looking good right there. And then you got the skull and crossbones on the side. Very iconic, of course, the one-man gang. Man, looking good, though. And then you get to the head sculpt on this one. All day long, I know this is the one-man gang. You could just hear this face sculpt on this one. You could just hear him doing his patented war cry there. I am not going to do it here for you guys. But you can think of him doing that, of course. Big bushy beard going on. And then, of course, the beautiful mohawk that would make Mr. T blush. Really, at the end of the day, it would. And you've got a little of that mullet on the back end. you got his tattoos on the side of his head. That's a guy dedicated to his craft. They said, hey, will you get tattoos in your head? Sure, why not? I'll do it. And you got tattoos on the side of his head. I think that is very cool. I love that he's got the two big old fists of fury as well. Looking really good. He's a big brawler. He needs some fists of fury. And that's what we got with the one-man gang here. Of course, his arms do go all the way around for us. Head back, forth, side, side, no up and down. You do get a waist, and that is it. Nothing else on there. We do get the holes in the feet. Of course, he should fit on a ringside collectible Mattel stand, I would imagine. I would imagine, and yes, he does. He does fit on the stand very well. Uh, you can, of course, remove this jacket and very easily removable and put back on. So I guess he can come to the ring with it. Would have liked to have seen a chain. I think Zombie could have reused a chain, of course, from uh, Kevin Sullivan, Bruiser Brody. He could have done something because I always think of the one-man gang wrapping up the big chain and having that chain with him. Uh, so that is the only really miss with this figure that I could see, and I'm sure it was probably for budget reasons. And I guess at the end of the day, you decide, would you rather have a chain or would you rather have the jacket? I say, why not both? Why not both? But not in the cards right there, but still a fabulous, fabulous one-man gang figure. Will pair perfectly with Slick, as we do know. Put him with Slick as his manager. Works all day long. So one-man gang, man, I am here for this gang. Bring me more one-man gang figures. We are supposed to give him the Legends line from Mattel back in the day. Never did happen. Would love to see that in the future. Hopefully something happens with that. I did grab King Kong Bundy out, another big man there. So you can kind of see these guys side by side. I believe Gang was a lot taller than Bundy. Uh, they're basically the same size, but we know kind of how retros are. Uh, they're never going to be quite in scale across the board. That's just the way it's going to be. And then an all-time favorite of mine in my childhood playing days, of course, One Man Gang's Akeem, his second gimmick he did have. Very memorable, one I really did enjoy back then. Still enjoy to this day. That Akeem persona was very underrated, if you ask me. And I was always sad when the Twin Towers broke up. Him and Bossman had that quick WrestleMania match, and that was pretty much all she wrote. I think they could have got a little bit more out of Akeem. Would have loved to have seen him and Dusty Rhodes square off in a little mini feud or something. I think that would have been kind of fun. Not in the cards, though. But one thing in the cards, Zombie Sailor One Man Gang. And I'm here for it. So there it is, the old One Man Gang representing here at the table today but what are your thoughts on this one is this a pickup for you are you a one-man gang fan let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and of course you made it this far don't forget to like the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel turn on the old notification bells we got videos every single day and then some we got even more content for you on patreon including early access to both youtube channels videos bonus content giveaways q a's you name it all going on over there in the old patreon channel and best of all you do support the channel. You can also support the channel over at ProWrestlingDs.com. Search Kyle Peterson. Don't forget social media. Sir Paul 64 on the X. The underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads. And on Instagram. So for the one man gang in Saxon 2. I am Kyle. See you guys all real soon.